my first uh, professional gig, like on television, was Saturday Night Live, believe it or not. Yeah, oh. I swear to God. Were you first nervous? Time. What do you think? I was terrified. What was it like? Did you have to do the Lorne audition? No, I didn't. I got, I got, um, I was doing a show in Chicago um, that was a, a big hit with the Practical Theater Company, and the producers of an SNL came and saw it and hired us. What? So yeah, it was nineteen. You went right on to the show. Yes. That's it, unheard of. It was unheard of. It was absolutely bizarre, and I was really young. Oh yeah. How old were you? Twenty-one. Wow. Uh, I left college and I went. So my first actual bit on the show was with Chevy Chase. But the thing that was so weird for me was that I was the audience. I was their demographic mm -hmm. when it first came on the air. So I was a teenager watching this show. My goodness. And then I was 21, I was on the show. It was very head spinny and... My first film, I had something like that. I was cast in my first film to play opposite Al Pacino in, oh. in uh, and Justice for All. And I'd never done a film. I didn't know what, the, I went, why, what's those marks? Oh. I didn't, I didn't understand. In fact, they said, do you need an apple or a half apple? And I went, no, I got I'm it. Not I'm not hungry. I'm not even hungry. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was, and they went, they had, they knew they had, uh, yeah. Wow, that's it, crazy. I was so scared. I can't watch that film now because I ruined it with worry. Really? How did Veep come to you? Through my agent, he said to me, they're developing a show at HBO about an unhappy vice president. I was like, where do I sign? Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah, done. Yeah, I had the same experience with uh, Jill Soloway. I saw the script, Transparent. On page eight, I said, Where, uh, I'm in. Well, but you're, I'm in. I'm in. I'm yeah. in. Yeah, of you course. Just, you know immediately. You know you immediately. Know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You were so smart to take that part. I love that part. That was so Change. great. So, thank you. Oh my God, it's so great. I can't get in. I, I feel that Mora is my new friend, my new best friend. Yeah. And I get wonderful conversations now. People come up and they'll take me aside and tell me some personal story yeah. about some experience in their family, yes. uh, either with the transgender community or some something that they've heard or something they've read. And it's a real personal thing. So it's it's, it's opened up a, a a universe for you in a lot of on a lot of different levels. It sounds like it's right? what we were talking about. You know what we when we went down to the basement to dream and the, yeah. it's exactly what I was dreaming about. Yeah. Oh, what nice. about you? Yeah. How has this changed your life? The thing that's great about this part, and maybe you would say the same for, for Transparent, is that I couldn't have come to this part without all the experience I've had prior. That's right. Had this part come along 10 years ago, I don't know if it would have been a good fit mm. in the way that I feel like it's a good fit now. You know what I like about you? I like that in your acting and in your comedy, you never wink. You take it dead serious. You know what I'm saying? I do, but I don't think it's, I think it's a serious business, don't you? I mean, I don't mean that it's not fun, but I mean the, the act of, of comedy is a serious act. I think people trust you and they go, oh, well, she's just going to be fine. And then I, I think, um, well, I just think you're stunning as an well, actress. That's so nice you say, Jeffrey. Did you do any research for, for Transparent? <laughs> or did you just go when, and put a dress on and go well, to work? Well, you know, it's very interesting. Um, I, did a, I, I was very l lucky. I had some um, beautiful uh, uh, consultants from, from the uh, trans community. I, I, uh, I met with Jenny Boylan, the great Jenny Boylan, who uh, I, I devoured her books. And I met her in the Algonquin Room in New York. And we had one of the great conversations, because I was shaking. Um, and Why were you shaking from nerves? Because the huge responsibility. Oh, the day they knocked on my door and, and said, okay, we're ready to do the scene with the, your, your eldest daughter where you have to come out, I, I was throw up nervous. Because, not because I wanted to do, you know, for eight rotten tomatoes or whatever that is, but right. um, I wanted to do it right. Of course. It's important. Lives are at stake. You know what just happened to me at uh, Sundance? A mother and father came up to me and they said that their little boy had gone to baseball practice or softball practice and had come home and eight, nine years old and said to mom and dad, mom, dad, I don't want to go back there. I'm not a boy boy. Mm. I mm -hmm. want to grow up. I want to be like Katy Perry. And they listened. They huh. didn't mock. They listened. And they later informed me, or that day they informed me, that they, they bonded over the show. And so that's what makes you shake. 
because you go, this is important. Really important. But how about you? Well, the idea of playing a powerful woman who is constantly thwarted because of gender, perhaps, because of the landscape of government and politics, particularly in the United States, mm -hmm. and to take on issues that are like we've taken on our show, abortion, mm -hmm. uh, death penalty, mm -hmm. guns, those aren't necessarily even remotely funny. Right. And to thread the needle and make a comedic right. story has been incredibly challenging. To keep it grounded and yet at the same time That's you're able idea. to laugh. Don't you find that you can get a lot done through satire and laughter? A lot of teaching gets done by I think that. the best teaching, don't you? I, I absolutely believe. I believe, and I've gone on record at saying it, that I believe in the Greek festival the comedies were probably more important than the track. I've always felt that. Well, that it's like taking medicine and yeah. covering it with some sugar coating. Yeah. You've got, you know, all of a sudden it tastes great, right. and the next thing you know it's in your body, and it's yeah. being uh, absorbed. Yeah, I think that's what I love about, about you and your show. You, you get a lot, a lot of things <laughs> across, and yet we're laughing, and that's the teaching instrument. I, I think that's, that's great. Prior to Transparent, Jeffrey mm -hmm. Tambor. Yeah. Uh, what would you say? I had say? two big breaks. Yeah. One was on Broadway where I took over for Hector Elizondo. But um, uh, Gary Shandling. Of in, course. Uh, the Larry Sanders show. Alan Zweibel. You know Alan? Yes. Of course you know Alan yes. from SNL. And he said, do you mind if I call a friend of mine, Gary Shandling? The next week I was in Gary's office. I auditioned. And I gave one of those auditions. And we just nailed it. Nailed it. That was an amazing role. He, like, and I'm sure you feel like this when, in your show, I knew Hank Kingsley. I know Maura Pfefferman. They're like friends. They're very real to me. Of course. And that's when you open that script, and on page eight you go, well, I, I know, I, I know this person. Yeah, completely. It's really nice. Really I want to mention Jill Soloway, who's one of the great creators of all time and one of the great directors. And it's one of the safest sets I've ever been on. There are no mistakes. Mm. It is just... Just another one and another one. And, another and you one. have an incredible cast surrounding you, too, oh by God. the way. Forget about Everywhere it. Everywhere you look, is there's, there's genius. Yes. Uh, Judith Light, who I've known for 40 years. And uh, there is Gabby Hoffman, Amy Lendecker, Jay Duplass. I mean, forget about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, look at you guys. The, the thing that is so unusual about the way we make our show is that we'll have a script, and then the script is very frequently tossed to the side and really? yes and oh. we have days and weeks of rehearsal prior prior to shooting really yes and so we'll just sort of throw it toss it all up in the air and come at things a different way and then if anything good comes out of whatever that improv rehearsal is it's folded back into the script and it's a very organic process and therefore it's important to have actors and actresses who uh, are good listeners, which is of course the key to improvisation, which people often forget. And everybody on the set is exactly that, which makes the joy of the show that much deeper. And very often when we're shooting the show, we will uh, do one where we just sort of um, mess it up. We have one like that. We go, we, let's wreck one. Isn't that fun? It's the best. Yeah, and if let's you're really working one. with people you love, yeah. Yeah. You, it's like a, it's a, yeah. it's a dance. It's fabulous. Yeah. I, I remember shooting the, I don't, I don't, uh, the barbecue scene in the, in the pilot, and I remember it was a round table, and I remember looking at Gabby, and I remember looking at a Amy and, and, and Jay. Then I saw Jill, because I went, everywhere my eye rests, there's genius. I mean, Jill ha actually <gasps> is one of the first directors that's ever come up to me and said, hey, hey, what's the hurry? Slow it down. Let's slow it down, guys. Mm. I, that's... Revolutionary. Revolutionary, because right. usually you're told... Let's go, go, go. We, we, hey, pop yeah, it, pop right. it. Hey, hey. And action! There was one scene where we were... Uh, I had to uh, uh, do the Sabbath. Maura does the Sabbath candles. Baruch atah Adonai. I've, I've, I'm seven years old. I've been singing that song for 50 years. They said, that's not how you sing that. I went, it's not? No, you're singing the Hanukkah, Hanukkah. song. And she kept it in. She kept it in. Yeah, and so the, real. And the great ones know that. Right. Armando Iannucci has exactly the same gift that you're describing that Jill has, which is the ability to recognize the raw and the messy moments as being uh, singularly uh, uh, beautiful. Beautiful.